Welcome back. Well, maybe you've heard that inflammation can cause a lot of issues in the body. I've heard that before, but what does that actually mean? A new book called Anti-Inflammatory Diet Meal Prep by registered dietitian Ginger Holton takes a look at some of the foods that can fight inflammation. I'm so excited. It's my first book and hopefully not my last. It is about the anti-inflammatory diet and also how to meal prep to make your life so much easier. Love it. And here's the thing. I mean, you're a dietitian, so there are a number of things you could have tackled. Why did you choose inflammation? Inflammation is the root of so many of our problems, and cancer has a direct tie to inflammation, autoimmune diseases, joint pain, all of these really common things that people experience that really hurt their lives. The ties are chronic inflammation, so I feel so passionately about this. Wow. So what are some inflammatory foods that a lot of us eat on a daily basis? You know, I do like to focus on the anti-inflammatory foods, but that's pro, fair <laughs> for sure, because there's so much power in that. But the pro-inflammatory foods are often just from excess, too much sugar, too much mm -hmm. alcohol, that kind of thing. That's perfect. It's like you're saying yes instead of saying no. <laughs> exactly. Yes Thank to you. more of this. So what are some anti-inflammatory foods that we should eat more of? Yeah, there's so many, and that's the really, really fun thing here. So what we have is whole grains. I have a whole bunch of like millet and oats, so that, that's really fun, lots of high fiber. I also have uh, some plant-based proteins, so like beans and tofu right here. I've got all my fruits and vegetables in this section, and I've got a ton of herbs and spices in the middle. So there, there's so many options. Yeah. You know, we hear a lot about certain foods that we think are anti-inflammatory and some people are like, oh, maybe not. Things like beans, grains, soy. What is your take on that? Well, the really fun thing about this book is that a full half of it is about the research of inflammation. So, you know, I'm a registered dietitian. I have a science background and I dove into all the large human studies. And what we see again and again is that whole grains, beans, yes, even soy, those things calm inflammation in the body very powerfully. So it's important to eat those foods. You know, it's interesting. I remember first hearing about the anti-inflammatory diet many, many years ago. And at the time, it felt like no one was talking about it. So I thought, okay, well, maybe there's not much to it. But it sounds like through your work um, in, you know, treating patients with cancer and as a dietitian, and then from the research, it sounds like the science is, is there. The science is solid. Like I mentioned, in very large human studies. So it's very, very clear when you dive in. And it's really fun because I got to put a lot of the research directly in the book. So that was great. But I do just want to tell you that some people don't do well with grains and some people don't do well with soy and some people don't do well with beans. So as an individual, you have to listen to what you need, but um, it's really important to not project that onto others and to look at the research. What is generally what's going to be best? I love how in your book that you have the meal prep piece and you also have the shopping list, which is amazing. So tell us about the best way to get started with meal prep. So the first thing you need to do is to get those little containers, right? So I just have these little glass containers. You'll see them all in here so that you can put things in your fridge and know what's in there. Secondly, you have to get organized. I hate to say it, it's hard, but you have to make a plan and you have to get a calendar to know what you're gonna make and to go grocery shopping. And then finally, you just need to set aside a little bit of time on the front end. A lot of people do it Saturdays or Sundays mm -hmm. to save a massive amount of time later in the week. So it's a little bit of prep for a huge payoff. All right, so how many recipes in this book? Uh, there's over 85. And wow. so there's a lot of options and uh, there's a lot in the beginning in the structured meal prep and plan. And then at the end, there's tons more that you can weave in. So anything that you don't like, you can swap out and anything you do like, you've got more of. When people, let's say, go on a six week plan of um, eating anti-inflammatory foods, what do they usually feel like? So, you know, that can really range depending on how they started. So a lot of people, what they'll notice right away is they actually feel a lot less stress and they feel more like, oh my gosh, I open my refrigerator and I know exactly what's in there and I have the food that's good for me. So just that groundedness can be very, very helpful. 
And then also when they start to eat foods that really calm the body and make them feel better and chill things out, that's the term I use, chill things out a bit, um, then they start to feel less pain, right? Or less fatigue or more mm -hmm. energy. So those are some of the possibilities. It could ha happen in the first week or it could take a couple months to get there. Okay, I have to ask you this before you go, what about coffee? Yeah, everyone asks me about that and we live in <laughs> Seattle, so we have to talk about it. Coffee has so many antioxidants and there is some evidence that it's anti-inflammatory, but I, I wanna caution you, if you put a lot of cream and sugar in your coffee, that might negate the benefits. Hmm, maybe I have to uh, limit my sugar. Um, but I love that because I take turmeric, so I'd like to actually eat versus taking a supplement for anti-inflammatory. Well, we'll be right back. <laughs> 